Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I want to show you the Samuel Solar River with a certain fault. It's a PV isolation fault. So if we have a look at the inverter here, we can see the red fault lights uh, showing and on the screen it's coming up with fault. Now, to find out what the actual fault is on a Samuel Solar River like this, what you want to do is press escape and go down to events list. So just use the arrow buttons to scroll down and press enter. And we can see here it's coming up with PV2 isolation fault. Now what this means is the inverter has detected a earth fault on the, uh, the second string, the second tracker on the inverter. If you have a look actually underneath here, you'll see right at the, right at the back it's got uh, DC1 and DC2. So this inverter has two inputs. There's input one, DC input one, and DC input two. So this, in this case, it's seen a fault on input two. Now, an isolation fault is usually an earth fault, which is usually caused by water getting into somewhere in the system. Uh, it could be water getting into a, a connector somewhere, into a junction box, into a cable somewhere, into, into the actual solar panels, or it could potentially be a problem with the inverter. What we will require if you are having an earth fault like this is to get a, you're going to need to get an accredited solar electrician out to have a look at your system and work out where the actual problem is and, uh, and then he can advise you from there. So look, I hope that's been helpful for you, to, uh, for you. Don't hesitate to get in contact with us here at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions if we can be of any further assistance. Thank you.